sasa daktar mtazamaji shukran kwa kuendelea kusalia nami na kujiunga kwenye sehemu hii ya jarida leo tukiwa tunaangalia swala la lalama na matakwa ya wahudumu wa afya kumbuka wakiwa wamepeana ilani ya kuingia kwenye mgomo rasmi wa kitaifa ndani ya siku sitini iwapo matakwa yao hayatashughulikiwa miongoni mwa matakwa hayo yakiwa ni nyongeza ya mishahara na vile vile kuangalia maswala mengine yanayogusia maslahi ya wahudumu wa afya kwenye nyanja za magatuzi na vile vile kwenye nyanja za kitaifa. Ninaye ndani ya studio George Gibore ambaye vile vile ni mkuu katika muungano wa wahudumu wa afya ma clinical officers kuko na ananiambia kwamba yeye sio katibu mkuu. Sijui atakuwa ni mkuu katibu kwa sababu anaeleza kwa lugha ya kimombo iko na tofauti kidogo. George Gibore karibu sana. Asante kwa kunikaribisha ida katika mm. KTN News kujadiliana kuhusu masuala ambayo yanawaadhiri wa huduma afya. Mimi ni katibu mkuu. Kwa Kiswahili tutajua kama itakuwa mkuu Ocha, katibu. Ni kukatizia kidogo, ni kukatizia kidogo George aniweze kuvuka moja kwa moja kwenye jumba la Harambee ambapo nilikuwa tayari nimeshawaahidi watazamaji kwamba kutakuwa pale na kikao cha wanahabari tukitarajia waziri wa usalama wa ndani Kithure Kindiki ambaye amefanya kikao na viongozi kutoka taifa la Somalia. Kuweza kujadili utata wa mipaka kati ya taifa la Kenya, Ethiopia na Somalia kukiwa na vituo vitatu vya mipakani ambavyo vinatarajiwa kufunguliwa ndio swala ambalo wamekuwa kilijadili. Hizo ni picha za moja kwa moja mtazamaji ambazo zinakujia kutoka kwenye jumba la Harambee tukitarajia muda wote kutoka sasa kupata uh, kutoka taarifa kutoka kwa viongozi hao baada ya kufanya kikao hicho na waziri wa usalama wa ndani na tutakuwa tunavuka huku moja kwa moja kwa sasa. And, uh, with regards to those deliberations. Now the two delegations on the Kenyan side was a high level delegation of ministers led by the cabinet secretary for internal for interior and national administration professor kindiki as well as the cabinet secretary for defense the honorable adan dwale on the somalian side the delegation was led by the minister for internal security minister mohammed hamed sheikh ali the foreign affairs minister uh, Abshir Omar Jama and the Defense Minister Abdul Qadir Mohammed Noor. CS Kindiki, welcome. Good afternoon. <coughs> the Honorable Eden Duale. Cabinet Secretary for Defense of the Republic of Kenya, Excellencies Mohammed Sheikh Ali, Minister for Internal Security of the Federal Republic of Somalia, Abdul Qadir Noor, Minister for Defense, Federal Republic of Somalia, and Excellency Minister Omar Jama, Abshir, Minister for Foreign Affairs, Federal Republic of Somalia, senior government officials from the Republic of Kenya and the, Republic, the Federal Republic of Somalia. We have uh, the Regional Director of the International Organization for Migration and other senior government officials from the Ministries of Interior, Defense and Foreign Affairs of Kenya and the counterpart ministries of Somalia. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, let me begin by welcoming each one of you to the Ministry of Interior and National Administration, which is domiciled here at the office of the President. Your presence and participation in this meeting are of vital importance to the two countries as we continue to deepen our partnerships and cooperation between our two nations. Kenya and Somalia are continuously experiencing both intra and interstate threats in terms of our security, mainly emanating from the terror group Al-Shabaab, 
with increased prevalence along our common border, running from Mandera all the way south to Lamu. This group has been instilling fear, despondence, and anxiety among our people by undertaking various terror activities, most of which are in the public domain. They perpetuate these nefarious activities by recruiting our youths, using all manner of enticements and radicalization. The climax of the process is a huge and critical mass of radicalized youths. The governments of our two countries have over the years played a significant role in the geopolitics of the East and Horn of Africa region, but also in terms of commerce, trade, and security. These achievements have been realized despite the region experiencing significant terror threats and the attendant risks to the people and infrastructure. These acts of terror have the effect of undermining peace, security, and stability at both our national and regional levels. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning, I am glad to report that a high-level ministerial meeting was successfully held between the two countries to appreciate the challenges posed by cross-border crime and threats that include violent extremism, organized crime, irregular migration, transnational terrorism, and other related security concerns. The deliberations noted the need to enhance cooperation and partnership between our two brotherly neighboring countries, purpose to address the challenges to foster regional integration. The government of Kenya and the government of Somalia both recognize and commends the complementary role played by development partners in the fight against terror, violent extremism, cross-border organized crime, in addition to value addition to efforts to maintain peace and security in this region. We wish to affirm our commitment as the government of Kenya of our continuous engagement with our development partners to ensure that our common objective of, make of safety for all our people communities and the world at large is achieved. In the spirit of partnership and cooperation and in recognition of the fact that border communities in both countries have common cultural, religious, and socioeconomic variables, the two governments are in agreement on the following. One, the need to strengthen cross-border communication and information sharing. Two, the need to develop modalities of addressing cross-border challenges and acknowledge that many of the security threats faced by our two countries are transnational in nature and require coordinated and comprehensive response. Three, the need to pursue and develop collaboration mechanisms for immigration and border management, and three, the need to enhance border infrastructure management and capacity. Ladies and gentlemen, it is for this reason that I affirm that the government of Kenya will continue to engage with the federal government of Somalia to develop and implement joint approaches and strategies cutting across socioeconomic and security issues in order to stabilize our respective countries and the region to allow socioeconomic development of our respective countries. Ladies and gentlemen, going forward, our two countries are in agreement 
on setting up modalities to implement the measures outlined in our outcome document, which we have signed a few minutes ago, and to bilaterally review and evaluate progress to ensure the continued effectiveness of the joint efforts. Consequently, after today, the 15th May 2023, our two countries separately will undertake internal consultations and determine processes that are to move into strategies of securing, securing gains made through our partnership with a view of expanding the scope of our cooperation. This will be followed by a joint committee of technical officers from relevant agencies from our respective countries to agree on a plan of action that will provide for the details of the security cooperation agreement to be signed during the next Kenya-Somalia Joint Commission for Cooperation JCC meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, it is at this stage that I want to say that among the commitments that we've made are the signing of an outcome document which lays the roadmap of where we are going from here. Secondly, we have been able to agree to review the arrangements in place to make it uh, easier for our people to move a bit more freely by looking at the visa uh, procedures to make sure as much as possible we restore uh, free movement of people and uh, make it easy for our people to integrate freely. And thirdly, is to say that um, we also are looking at the possibility of opening the border and we have resolved that the border between Kenya and Somalia and Somalia will be reopened in a phased out manner within the, ninth, within the next 90 days effective today, starting with the Mandera Bulahawa border point, which should be open in the next 30 days. Within another 30 days, meaning 60 days from now, we should be able to open the second border point, which is uh, Liboy Arhar, uh, Doble on the Somalia side, and also 90 days from today, we also hope to be able to open a third border point, which is Kiunga Raskamboni in Lamu County. The first border point provides an entry point from the Kenyan side in Mandera County, the second border point provides an entry point from the Kenyan side in Garissa County, and the last uh, border point uh, will be able to provide an entry point from the Kenyan side in Lamu County. We are also in the process of relooking at a possibility of also adding a fourth border point which will give an entry point into Somalia from the Kenyan side in Wajia County. And that announcement will also be made in the coming days. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, as we further and deepen this dialogue of partnership and cooperation, it is my sincere hope that we shall continuously endeavor to enhance our cross-border experiences activities and engagements, keeping in mind the emerging security trends and dynamics paradigms that transcend national, regional, and continental boundaries. 
Thank you. I want to take this opportunity to thank the distinguished delegation from Somalia led by the Somalia Minister for Internal Security, Minister Mohammed, and the other two ministers who are with him, the Minister for Foreign Affairs and Minister for Defense. I also want to thank my brother, Minister Eden Duale of Defense, and all the senior government officials who have made it possible for us to arrive here. It has taken the hard work of technical uh, senior officials of the two governments for us to reach the point where we have reached. I now want to yield the floor to my counterpart, the Internal Security Minister of the Federal Republic of Somalia to make a few remarks and after that we shall end this media briefing and unfortunately today we will not be able to take your questions uh, because we are constrained. Welcome, Honorable Minister. Uh, thank you, uh, yes, uh, Professor Kitur Kindiki. Uh, Excellencies, Professor Kitur Kindiki, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Interior and National Administration. His Excellency Adan Barredu Ali, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Defense. My fellow Cabinet Ministers from the Federal Republic of Somalia, Minister Abshir Omar Jama, and Minister Abdul Qadir Muhammad Noor, permanent secretaries present at these consultations, other distinguished guests. At the onset, my I, on behalf of my delegation and myself, express our gratitude to the government and people of the Republic of Kenya for the warm hospitality extended to us since our arrival in the beautiful city of Nairobi. Under the motto of Somali which means Somalia at peace with itself and at peace with the world, His Excellency President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud has led a wide range of bilateral, regional and multilateral initiatives to strengthen the existing ties between Somalia and it is neighbors among it is the Republic of Kenya. The federal government of Somalia is committed to promote and strengthen cooperation with its neighbors to improve security, regulate migration frameworks, facilitate trade and investment. On July and September last year, the two presidents of Somalia announcing the strengthening of bilateral relations between the two countries and emphasizing the commitment to address security concerns along our shared borders. Further, two heads of state agreed on the opening of the border between the two countries in order to ease the movement of people and enhance trade in goods and services. Excellence, the cross-border challenges experienced by communities on both sides of the common border are too complex for one country to address. Borderland communities face numerous challenges, including insecurity, recurrent droughts, human trafficking, illegal trade, and transnational crimes. However, by working together and leveraging our historical, linguistic, and bilateral ties between our two countries, citizens of of both Somalia and Kenya can enjoy enhanced food security, improved infrastructure, increased exchange of goods and services, and overall sustainable, long-lasting peace. As we join hands in today's joint ministerial meeting, we give our commitment to promote cross-border cooperation between Somalia and Kenya. As we embark on this journey, we commit we commit to set up modalities to implement the measures outlined in the declaration. Finally, today's consultation will provide a platform for ministers and high-level officials from our two countries to address common challenges, enhance border management and infrastructure and exchange ideas on border security and management. Excellence, 
rest assured that Somalia is committed to work with all partners to achieve the common goal of protecting our borderlands and implementing the time frame he sees uh, Kindiki mentioned before a while that's the reopening of the border buses of, from Mandera to uh, Kayunga on the Kenyan side from Bulahawa to Rasgamboni from the Somali side and also the time frame of easing the visa measures so that the citizens of two countries can obtain easily and travel easily to their respective countries. With these remarks, my, I take the opportunity to commend the facilitation role of the International Organization for Migration, IOM, and other developing partners for our two countries. Thank you, Santeni Sana. Santeni Sana.